If you're familiar with my channel, you probably know that I mainly shoot street photography and occasionally some portraits. But what would happen if someone like me, who primarily takes photos of people, suddenly tries out landscape photography? Hmm. Well, you're going to find out in this video and the following two episodes. A couple of months ago, I was traveling to the beautiful island of Madeira for a photography job. And I thought to myself, well, since I'm already here, I might as well record some videos shooting film cameras in this incredibly beautiful environment. I'm not a landscape photographer by any means, but I'm not gonna lie when I tell you it was breathtaking and I'm not just talking about the hiking that I did. Also in this episode, all the developing and scanning was done by the awesome folks over at Carmen Sita Film Lab. If you wanna check them out, I will put the link in the video description. Other than that, I hope you enjoy this episode. We had to get up at 3.30 in the morning because it was a one hour drive plus an additional hour of hiking to get to the peak of the mountain. And suddenly on the way it started raining and we got a little worried that we might need to cancel the hike but when we got further up the rain stopped but it was still a little bit foggy. Now it was time to hike up to the top of Pico Riebo or whatever, however it's pronounced, which is the tallest mountain on Madeira with around 1,860 meters. And the further we climbed up, the better the visibility got. And at some point, the fog was completely gone and the moon was pretty much guiding us the way. My Fuji GF670 was loaded up with uh, some expired Kodak Portra 100T. Uh, right now I'm shooting at f3.5, four seconds. And I think the, the film is uh, ISO 100, but it's uh, 20 years old, so it's probably more like 25, so. But th this should be okay. And it's a tungsten-based film, so it should look very blue. The first shots that I took at 4 seconds turned out better than expected and the color cast was most likely corrected by Carmen Sita and the film looks great I have to say. Now I'm also shooting this, the Olympus OM2N with a 28mm f2, wide open at f2. Uh, in here is Portra 400 and um, I'm rating this at 100 and I'm using auto exposure which works really well on this uh, camera so I'm using this. And, oh my god, you should see this in the background. The sun comes up slowly. Even though it would be the obvious thing to do, just shooting the sunrise, I preferred the opposing side, which it looks much better. And that's why I kept my setup over there. Okay, now I'm at auto exposure and the camera is saying, uh, it's giving me one eighth. So let's try if that works. <laughs> Uh, maybe let's try one quarter second. Oh, the sun is creeping up. I was glad that I brought the tripod with me, otherwise those shots would have been impossible. And you have to know, I'm not a tripod guy, so usually I never bring a tripod because it's just too much hassle to carry around. Okay. Okay, now I'm uh, across 100 and I'm setting the meter to, let's shoot one stop over at 50. Oh, let's shoot into the sun with the clouds. One five hundred. Oh my god! I think I should override this. Let's shoot at two fifty. In backlit situations like this, it's much better to shoot fully manual. Well, let's try one with Portra. 400. A 
Okay, Porsche 400, auto exposure, 1, 250. All right, now I came all the way down here because oh, there's too many people out there and behind me looks very, very nice. Uh, I think with the Acros, this will look hopefully very sick. Let's give it a try. I'm going to shoot at uh, 250th uh, F3.5. Let's do it. And also we'll shoot the Olympus, of course. One thing that you can probably tell by just watching the video is how quiet it was up there. Yeah, maybe I should stop down the lens. Uh, let's shoot one at f8. And set auto exposure. So the auto exposure is at 1 15th. Uh, Let's try another one. Uh, let me let's shoot one wide open. So, or better, I go up there. I think I might shoot one wide open uh, with these bushes here in the foreground. Blurry, of course. Might look good. Let's give the Olympus a try. The F2. Oh my God, this looks insane. One, two, three. I'm shooting wide open. Now, so this here, this here looks also absolutely insane. Walking around there was really nice, but I had to be really careful because all the rocks were very loose and one wrong step and that's it. Awesome. Take one vertical. All right, guys, uh, it's time to go back down. Um, if you ever have the chance or you will ever be in Madeira, come here to this mountain. It's pretty epic, uh, even though it started pretty grim with like rain and uh, was very foggy, but up here it's really, really nice. So if, like I said, if you ever have the chance to come here, do it, it's really beautiful. We will go back down now and I will probably on the way down shoot a little more, some more frames with the Olympus here, so. Yeah, oh, I'm so glad I got up this morning at 3.30. <laughs> I'm not tired after like two or three hours of sleep, but even if I would be tired, it's totally worth it. I'm not a landscape photographer, but I have to admit this was pretty epic. And oh my God, the mountain now is now covered in clouds completely. So pretty epic. Okay, let's go back down. This place was unbelievably beautiful, but since I wasn't traveling by myself, I only had a limited amount of time to get some shots and I'm quite happy how those photos turned out.
Yeah, on my way back, uh, it was really foggy and there wasn't that much left to shoot. But don't worry, I have more awesome landscapes in the next episode. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you like this episode, as always, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.